coming to you today from the Bahamas. And I want to talk to you guys about how to find yourself. You guys probably know if you go to my website and look at my stuff often that I'm all about true self for your health. Really anchoring yourself in your true identity. This was a thing I went through for my whole life. I know it was my purpose because literally from the time I can remember, I remember asking the universe, God, whoever would listen, who am I? Like not who am I, but like who am I really? It was such a deep need for me, such an uncertain identity due to a pretty difficult childhood and never being understood and um, just never feeling like I'm part of a tribe. I was really searching for my truth because I wasn't seeing it reflected to me in the people around me. These things society told us or told me, tell us, or told me about myself didn't really fit. The things that other people told me about myself didn't fit. And so I was always looking for me in a deep, deep way. Interesting, but I was. And things that happened after I asked that question, I would have never expected, but I'm so grateful for. So the first thing is when we're really trying to find ourselves, it's understanding that the path to get there, especially if you ask for it, the path to get there is not going to be what you think, but it's going to be better than you could have imagined. And so I'm sitting here in this beautiful place this week, and I'm sorry I've been away from YouTube for a while, but I've really been introspective and really been going to the root of things in my own life and really looking at how grateful I am for this practice, for the work that I get to do in the world, and for the life that I've led. And I'm really thinking like, <laughs> it's so interesting how you get to a point in your journey when you're like, wait a minute, how did this happen? How are things so incredible? How is life so synchronistic? How am I feeling so good all the time. And uh, I want to share that with you because I think it's so key, especially when we're younger, to be taught how to find our truth. You guys know I'm all about it, but this is why my life is so good. Because I finally realized how to find my truth, not the truth I was conditioned to believe, the truth society wanted to tell me, the truth that everyone says, this is what you are just because, but really checking in with myself and giving my inner self a voice to tell me who I am, which is a powerful, interesting thing because most people think they need permission from some authority figure outside of them, but when we really tap into our inner guidance, the wise guide inside, we find that our answers we're looking for outside are all within. We just need to ask and give permission. So it's interesting. I look at my journey and I look at how, you know, most people that come to me and start mentoring with me, they always have the big question. How do you know my truth, my true self voice or my fear voice? Like which is which? And I noticed recently, I don't even have that come up anymore. It's just so like duh, obvious, but it's also so like, move over fear. I'm walking the inspiration line. I'm walking that line. And there's no question, once you get into it, once you figure out what the soul food is, and you nourish your soul every single day with these practices and principles, you really realize there's no question. But until there isn't a question, there is. So back to the point, I remember being younger and just looking at the false self that I created, we all do until we get to our true self. But the false self, I felt the false self. I almost felt that I had to create to get the things that I wanted externally, um, or to be seen the way that I want to be seen externally. When I realized that every single thing we look for outside is already in there, we just don't know how to find it. So I'm going to give you these quick tips on how to find yourself. Sorry, it's very windy here. First thing is. Emotional honesty. You guys know if you have my workbook, if you don't have it, go get it. If you have it, you know. Emotional honesty. Is that how I feel or is that how I think I should feel? Is that what they're telling me I should feel because that's how they feel and that's all they know how to feel? Or do I actually feel something different? Trusting your feelings and let them lead you to what it is you need to open and awaken to. Second thing is inspired action. This has been the single biggest aha moment in my life is once you really practice that emotional honesty, you'll see, you'll see the fear and you're like, 
keep going. It literally has changed my whole life because what happens is you stop resisting. That's a block. Fear is blocking you from everything that you want, right? It's false evidence appearing real. You stop resisting, you push it to the side, and you go where the fear is. You go through that fear, basically. You're still scared, but you still trust and believe that there's a higher plan for you that you probably don't get. Because what we do all day long, trust me, I used to do this all the time, is we say, oh, well, that's what that means, and that's what this is. Okay, how about, maybe I don't know what that means, but God or the universe does, and they have a better plan for me than me, and life loves me, so let's go. Everything happens for you. It doesn't happen to you. And the third step is really not resisting anything, but fully accepting 100% everything that's in your life right now because it's for your highest good. It's either going to push you towards more learning or pull you back towards more loving. Either way, it's for you. So that's your quick little video today. I hope you guys are having an amazing week, and I will see you soon.